My name is uh, Ken Bingham. I live in Ventura, California now, but I was brought up in Brockton, Mass. And I attended camp in the late 1950s and early 1960s. And then went on to become a part of the kitchen crew. Towards the end of the season, the last several days, we had like a decathlon. And we would compete against so, uh, swimming underwater from the raft to the shore, you know, the farthest one. Ping pong when you're and uh, broad jump, running. We had a series of games, and then, you know, they have the winner. I think I came in second. And then the other main thing, one of the biggest things, I'm glad I remembered this, is rowing. Every evening we'd go out and row for the races because towards the end of the, our session we would have uh, boat races. So we would be trained, and we got in a sink as far as all our oars went, and we had the uh, counselor at the end coaching us. And that was terrific. And then the counselors would, when I got old, I guess on to pull as far as we could. It says, if you break a oar, I'll give you a candy bar. So I was always trying to break an oar. I think that one season, my last season as a camper, I think I held a record for broken oars. The, the manager of camp, camp, Mr. Avery, he didn't care for that too much because they had a tight budget. It might have been a rich school, but they still had to run separately and support themselves. So it wasn't like a grot school gave them a whole bunch of money. You know, they had to go to uh, general public, get people to donate. 